Okay, hey, it's Mike, easy go lawn care. Had a little extra long drive this morning, all the way to the other side of town. So I, I, I just had this thing on my mind this week. I just want to rant. I need to rant. Biggest pet peeves. One of my biggest pet peeves. And, you know, when you start out, you start. And when I started out, I was listening to people that really probably shouldn't have been in the lawn care business because they were doing all the things that, that I hate now. And, you know, it, it's like, oh, you got to get more work. You got to have 50 accounts. You got to do this. You got to do that. And that crap was just didn't work for me. Um, 50 accounts doesn't work if you're not making any money at those 50 accounts. And if you're driving half an hour to get to those accounts. But anyway, I had, yeah, when, when you have people, friends or family that have never, ever, can't hardly even mow their own lawn, and they want to, or never ever even run a business, and if they do, it's something that doesn't have anything to do with lawn care, or maybe they don't run that business very well. But, you know, I was like, hey, I'm doing this, man. I've cut my lawns down, I've gotten rid of them, and I'm making just as much money as I used to. Profit. I'm making just as much profit as I used to. My my profits have went up. My percentages have went up. I'm, I'm streamlining. I'm, and then it's, oh, I was like, I'm down to work in two days. I, I'm going to fill in for another day next year because I, this year COVID kind of shut down my advertising a little bit. But, I didn't say that to him. I was just like, hey, you know, I've gotten down to mowing two days when I need to get another one or two days. I'd like to just have three days of mowing because I have other things that I do. Uh, with, I'm still I'm spreading fertilizer and weed control. And if I and I can take on a little bit of have the other requests on Friday. But, well, you need to get you need to get out there and do this commercial. Get some commercial accounts. Get some I, I am so sick of hearing about commercial accounts. If you are, if you want to spend a, a few hundred thousand dollars on equipment to get a bunch of a commercial accounts, and do two hundred grand a year on commercial accounts while still only putting fifty thousand dollars in your own pocket, go right the fuck ahead. It's pardon my language, right the flip ahead. I just I have no interest in commercial accounts anymore. Uh, if you, you go, you you have to keep up equipment to do these accounts that might want to rebid next year. They have no loyalty to you. They don't care about anything but the dollar. I'm not I'm not messing with that. I, the commercial accounts I have now are because I know the owner, uh, I've been friends with, or I, I, I started doing one uh, personal yard and they wanted me to do the restaurant. That's all, that's all. That's the only ones I do and the one guy that owns a restaurant that I do, that I do, he actually has a restaurant treated. I don't treat it, but somebody that he's been doing business with for a long time. But and that's it. And I, if I if I bid on a on a commercial, I bid on it. I don't jack around with these price wars. I'm not gonna. Well, this other guy would did. Uh, he said he'd do it for he'd do this one for twenty dollars less. And, and this guy, no, I'm not doing that. But it's like that's just so annoying. I know what the hell I'm doing. I mean, you just said you're doing this for 16 years and I don't know nothing. Everybody who doesn't do it for a living, please tell me how. Please tell me what I need to do because I'm so fucking helpless. I'm so helpless, I don't know what I'm doing. F you. Are you jealous because I'm, I'm make, taking advantage of situations and making more profit? That's what I want to know because because I'm actually restructuring my business to make more profit. You know, it's one thing for somebody to say, if you know, if I have a problem, and for somebody to say, oh, this is what I would do if I was in your situation. And, but to say, this is what you should do. Um, how many lawn care services do you own and have you owned? and made successful. None? Shut the hell up. I don't want to hear it. 
because this guy over here, because you see, because you see Megacorp Lawn Care making, with all these big fancy trucks, and pulling in money, doing, and a lot of them are doing half-ass work to make that money because they're they're working on price and not on quality. Let's work on volume and price and not on quality. That's not how I want to run my business. And that's not how I'm going to run my business. Just because you see some guy has all these fancy rigs and trucks, that doesn't mean that there's profit there. That doesn't mean the profit is there. That doesn't mean it's, it's what I want to do. That's BS. And to think that you have to work on somebody else's model, that's what that's what's aggravating me especially. Even with guys, some guys that have been doing it for a long time that, that really don't know the business that well. I know guys that work that's been doing this for 30 years that have no real understanding of how lawn care can be ran today. And yet they want to tell everybody, well, I've been successful at it for this long. This is how it's done. No. It's not how it's done with me. There are as many business models for lawn care as there are lawn care businesses. There is not, you are not going to see, because every customer is different and every customer base is different. You find neighborhoods where a lot of people think alike. I was in a neighborhood yesterday, I'd love to do all the lawns, but I, every one of them was done with a push mower. Every one of them, you can tell, was done by the homeowner. They are, they like doing, the, they're meticulous about their lawn, but they like doing their lawn. So, that's a neighborhood I might advertise in, since I drive right by there anyway. Sorry about the shade, this mountain sucks. But, I'm not going to stress about it too much because I know that's not a market I'm going to be in. Uh, there's a few I might try to push, but it's there's one I'm in now I'm really trying to push because I can see everybody in there is really anal. It's like it's like a disease. One people have these nice lawns. They have people cut their grass and they have it treated, and that's where I'm going to stick. Like I said, every every niche is different, and every lawn is going to be different. Um, and everybody telling you you have to do this and you have to do that. You need more services. You need to do that. My web designer, who is about to be fired, thinks the same way. Well, if you have more services, you get more hits on your website. You get more hits on the search engine if you have more services. Well. I can't advertise services that I don't want to provide, that I don't want to deal with, and I don't have time for. That doesn't make sense for me or my customers. Why are, Why would I do that? It's aggravating. It's aggravating. It's aggravating. And it's not just aggravating. It's like, instead of saying, oh, that's great, man. You're doing good. One of these days they'll finish this town. It's only been around for a couple hundred years, but maybe after 400 years they'll have it done. It's, but instead of saying, that's great. That's great that you're doing better, you're making better profit. No, let's say, oh, this is what you're doing wrong. This is what you're doing wrong. This is what you should do. Where's your, like I said it before, where is your lawn care business? Why are you spending 50-some hours a week sweating away for for Joe Corp when you could obviously be making millions in the lawn care industry because you're that good at it? I know everybody else has that time to time, time, but it's like, I feel really good about how I'm doing right now. I may not have the profit that I want to have right now, but the plan is enacted. And the minute that you let these people start making you feel like, oh, well, you know, gosh, maybe they're right. You know, I feel lazy because I'm not out here just busting my butt 80 hours a week and making no profit. That's what it's, I, I should be, I should be working harder, not making more money. I should just be working harder. I feel like Keith Kalfas. 
because this is the rant that I'm on. I'm on. I'm just so hyped up about this. It's like, what? Why? You know. Go ahead. Why should I let the negativity get to me? I don't know. It just is angry. It's like, why are you being so negative toward me when I, you know, why? Why when I'm doing well, it should my friends or my family or anybody around? Why should you know, why do you have to, why do you have such a need to feel superior that you need to say, well, you need to do this. And then I, I mean, at the time I just laughed and I was like, no, 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 no. Work harder, make less is not in my plan. And it never will be. I want to do my five days a week. I want to do my five days a week and I want to do something else with the rest of my time. Lawn care is not the end and be all end all for me, and I'm not gonna live. I, I've done the seven days a week and not made any money. I'm not doing that anymore. Um, my my I am set up right. Now. Monday is its administrative day. I have to catch up on everything I screwed up the rest of the week on the bookkeeping. I got I check all my accounts, compare my accounts. If I have checks. I go to the bank and deposit them. I make sure that my credit card on file accounts are all up to date and I didn't screw any of that up. Um, and check my accounts receivable when I, with what I still have because like sometimes checks don't make it through or whatever. I also, and then um, I am going to mow Monday, or sorry, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I will mow. Friday, I check my blades, change my blades, uh, I sharpen my blades. Uh, if I have oil, if I'm ready to change oil, which I'm not ready to change oil on a lot of things, I need to take the truck in too. I'll do that. Uh, if that is not on there, and if that's and if I do have, if it did, if I have it at the time, uh, I'll do my. I'll do my routes for fertilize and landscape. After that, uh, I have other things I want to do. I don't. I'm not just running a lawn care business. I have other things that I want to do with myself, and I'm not going to just slave away doing that. Not spend time with my family. I just turn the wrong way. I don't know where I thought I was going. But anyway, I gotta turn around somewhere. But anyway, that's and people look at it like, well you just you just don't want to work. You just don't want to work. I have no problem with working. What I do have a problem with is working and not making money. And I don't know why people take that that misunderstand that. If I wanted to slave away and not make nothing, I would take away the rest of the stress and go work for somebody else. Because why should anybody do that to themselves? You know, that's just plain stupid. Stupid. It's plain idiotic to have to go and do all that to yourself and not make any money and not have any happiness in life because you can't even if you if what little money you make you're not you can't even enjoy your life you don't have the time or the money to enjoy your life I want to have a certain lifestyle and there are things I want to do other than lawn care like like work with motorcycles in some way either I volunteer. Uh, I, I want to get my certification to, so I don't have time to do that. Don't look like, and why, why should I not make myself time to deal with the things that I enjoy? You know, just because everybody else is unhappy with their life, why should you be? Um, like I said, don't live lawn care. I mean, I love lawn care. I love doing this. I want to keep loving it. Um, I, right now, I'm burnt out for the year, but I don't want to be burnt out. Looks like my own dodge.
and I want to have the rest of the week to do other things. And but it's just it's just funny that people back to the point is it's just that people want to pretend they know your life. People think that they move, that that you should live their life for some reason. I don't know, but uh, but for my buddy to tell me that you know that or anyone to tell me that that this is how you're going to run your business and you have no business, you know, it's like you shouldn't. You just can't. It's like, but when somebody tells you that this is what you need to do, what are you trying to give me advice for? I don't need, I don't have a problem. I have the problem solved. And I'm telling you that I have the problem solved. And somebody tell me that I'm wrong. Why don't I just tell you you're wrong? Why don't I tell you you're a fucking moron for working that job for 20 years? For working that job for 20 years to make somebody else money so that you have nothing else? Do I tell you you're a moron for doing that? No. Anyway. Moral of the story. Laugh at them. Don't let these idiots tell you this is what you need to do. I don't care if it's so if you if you if you know if you know that it that this is the way you direction you want to take your business and this is what's going to make you happy. Laugh at these people that tell you you need to do this and you need to do that. You know, I've had people do the same thing. Oh, you you got to have X amount of accounts to make money. Do I? Do I? I've done that. I've pushed that. Oh, I've had 100 accounts before. I've had 100 accounts that have spread all over the county that I couldn't get done. So if I have 100 accounts that I mow 75 of them that week because, because uh, it rained or I just can't keep up or my employees went to shit. It doesn't make sense. Work on the quality first. I can get to a certain number. I know now that I can get to a certain number working by myself if I have the right accounts, if I work on route density so that I can get X amount of accounts done a day. And if I charge a certain amount for those accounts and I have the right accounts that pay the right amount of money. So don't ever, don't, don't if, if, if your bills are paid right now, if they're not, do something else. Don't put your business in a position to where you're on that route, where you're on that direction to where you're going to take that job for $35 that you should have did for $50. Because now you're going to take that other job for $35 that you should have done for $50. And then another. And then you're going to end up like running around. And it's like, oh, well, I need extra work. I need more work. I need more work. I need more work. And then Joe Blow from 20 minutes away it calls and, and wants an estimate. You do it because you feel like you have to have that income. You're not working for somebody else anymore. Just because you're doing 100 grand a year in volume doesn't mean you're making 100 grand a year. If you're doing 100 grand a year but your expenses are going up to $80,000 a year because you're making the wrong decisions, $80,000 is a high number, but I'm doing more than half in profit right now. I'm doing over a 50% profit margin right now because I am not taking those jobs that are driving everywhere. If you're taking jobs that are driving everywhere and you're, oh, well, I just did $70,000 this year. Well, maybe you did $70,000, but it, because you had to hire somebody because you're spread out all over the world. The highest grossing year that I ever had was my lowest profit year because it was spread all over the world I was driving everywhere I had a lot of I had employees with windshield time it didn't make any sense because I was taking the wrong advice and I was listening to these people that are saying well, you need to do this you need to have commercial accounts why why I don't want to do landscaping I'm not big on landscape I'll do landscaping for my regular accounts because that's something I want to do for them and they want somebody that has so I will do landscaping in the months that I can do landscaping for them and I try to, and make them understand that this is the when I'm going to do your mulch because they're my regular customers I think that that security of having your regular residential accounts every year 
and you charge the right amount for them to feel secure and who cuts their grass and know that it's done every week and on time that is worth gold to them don't forget that but don't listen to the people that say you have to do this or you have to do that anyway I gotta look at this grass they say they got brown spots and they have they have spots where somebody put in some bad grass and fix the sidewalk. Anyway, love y'all. Take it easy.